Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I hear this one uh, quite a bit. Hey, how come I can't play back my video? Well, this is how to check your video. So if you're looking for push this button and it works and everything plays, it ain't gonna work. Bye bye see you later. This is the School of Hard Knocks why things don't play. And here's the first thing, you're picking the wrong player, probably QuickTime player. And that would be just an easy one, it's installed, it's part of your uh, uh, operating system, and shouldn't it play everything? And the answer is freaking no. The QuickTime player plays a very tiny amount of files and uh, it won't play others. The other one is VLC, which is both for Mac and Windows. Actually, QuickTime plays for Mac and Windows too. I'll show you that in a second. VLC plays way more files. Uh, it's butt ugly and got the horrible, most worst icon ever, but it does play a lot of formats, but not every format. So let's just go through a few of these formats that I spit out and uh, then I'll show you what plays pretty much everything. Okay, so first of all, uh, the first one I have here is a P2 card. It's not recognized by either of these. This is a 6K MP4 that I exported out from a red file. And let's watch this on uh, Movie Player. And it actually plays back. That's not bad. Can we play it in QuickTime Player? Let me open this, 6K, and it, does it, come on, uh, uh, doesn't look like it's, uh, it's going to play that back. Wow. How do you, even, how do you even get to the end of this thing? Okay. So that won't even play back. Um, will it play back with VLC? It does not play back with VLC. So here's a QuickTime animation file and double clicking on that. And it does not play in, this is movies and TV. This is one of the built-in players for um, Windows. And here's the QuickTime animation in QuickTime player. And it does play this back. And does this play in VLC? It does. I've got two others here that are broadcast formats. Uh, this is QuickTime 444 uh, XQMXF. And play that back. Does not play back in VLC. Oh, that one does. This is XDCAM HD, and it plays back. XDCAM HD, very popular broadcast format. Let's go back to uh, QuickTime Player. And you'll note, I already know it won't play. So when I choose file open for QuickTime player, those files don't even show up as uh, possible formats in here. So will not play in that one. I even tried, there's always these latest lists, the best players of 2020. And of course, <laughs> lots of these, when you install them, they just fill your computer up with garbage. I haven't checked whether this did it or not, but I just thought I'd get um, this particular one and, and see, open the video, same thing. Can we play this 6K? And nope, resolution compatibility problem. Uh, let's try the QuickTime one. The QuickTime player does. It doesn't even recognize these others. And there is a list here, so I'll just move this and open. And although this looks like a, a, a pretty good list, a lot of these are consumer uh, type formats um, and very few of them, very few of the broadcast formats fit inside here. So for whatever reason, if you've created a file and you're trying to play this back uh, in a player and it won't play back in the player, it's most likely not the video fault, it's the player just being limited. You wanna know the best device to play things back? Freaking Premiere Pro. This should be your, your quality control uh, hotspot where you go. If something doesn't work, bring it into Premiere Pro. You can actually, when you export out, wouldn't do this all the time, but 
you can import right back into the project. So let's go look at all of those formats that I was just looking at. This is the DVC Pro, which by the way, is in, is in this P2 card test. When you create a P2 card, you're actually um, creating all of the, the individual files, but uh, Media Encoder just sees it as one file. So we'll import that. And then we'll go back and import the rest. There's that 6K MP4, the QuickTime animation format, and import all of them in. Let's have a look. Oh, that one plays 6K, that one plays QuickTime. Yay, that one plays MXF. A little slow to start, but it plays DVC Pro, XDCAM HD, and on and on. And if you want to know all the formats that are supported, I'll put the link in the, in the description for uh, Adobe's uh, help page, but have a look at these supported for file formats. Wow, we're talking a ton of formats from professional to consumer, from legacy formats to brand new formats. Just look at the, the MXF alone, which MXF is a container, but all of these formats and all these native camera format. So the next time you're worried about a video not playing back in a player, bring it into Premiere Pro just to check that video because that's what this tutorial is about. Checking your video, not finding the right player. What is the right player? I have no idea. I have tried literally for years, almost a decade now, of trying to find the right player. And when I eat, even do find something and, and there's a, a development of, of, uh, of sorts and somebody's got a player, you know what usually happens? They end up stop, stopping development and the, the program goes away. So even if you do find one person or one uh, programmer who's come up with a great uh, player, will they keep it going? Should you put your eggs in all that basket? And uh, I have and I've seen those go away. It's really, really difficult. You're dealing with, first and foremost, you're dealing with a bunch of codecs that are owned by other companies that you can't use without getting sued. So then you end up trying to find open source versions that may or may not be compatible. It's a very, very tough job. I wish there was a universal format. Back when I was at Adobe, there was a lot of encouragement about, hey, why doesn't Adobe create a universal player format that just plays every consumer and broadcast format out there. Hmm, kind of like a player based on Premiere Pro. Wouldn't that be good? Hey, Adobe, are you listening? Make a player. All right. So there you go. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description of this video and on the front of the channel. And you can also visit us at videorevealed.com. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to at least Open your eyes to some of the things that may not be a problem at all, like your video. <laughs>